Rob. Yes. <laughs> what is better, a high carb diet or a low carb diet? Well, Nikki, that's a great question, and there's a fair amount of controversy around that. And the reality is it kind of depends, and both approaches can work. Both approaches do work. Uh, clearly, this is a contentious pissing match that is difficult to find uh, uh, the likes of. Um, well, I don't know. Actually, everything's contentious pissing match these days. But when you really dig around in the literature, there, there haven't been like spectacularly well-done studies looking at this, and we can find anthropological examples of high carb societies that are way healthier than westernized populations and low carb societies that are more healthy but recently Kevin Hall has done at least one and I think multiple studies that looked at some different elements of this story Kevin Hall is an interesting guy he's been a researcher that's been pretty critical of the low carb scene and he was brought in to do some research by NUSI which was founded by Gary Tobbs who's a friend of mine I, I like Gary Gary's a good dude. I think that Gary got um, almost religiously attached to the insulin hypothesis. And there was a time when the insulin hypothesis absolutely was, you know, what, what I, I kind of bought into. But over the course of time, I just don't think that the, the data has borne the insulin hypothesis out, which the insulin hypothesis basically being that obesity is uni universally driven by um, elevated insulin levels. Now you can get elevated insulin from overeating and I, I think that that definitely becomes a problem and hyperinsulinemia is without a doubt a, a big deal. But some of this Kevin Hall research, what they did is they set up a whole foods based low carb diet and it was legitimately low carb. It was uh, around 50 grams of carbs a day and a whole food based low fat diet. So they really, really tried to minimize processed foods. And what they found is that both groups generally made very, very good success with regards to improvements in metabolic parameters, weight loss. Within each one of those groups, there were outlier individuals that actually made regression that didn't do well. But also what was interesting is that both of these groups, they started on the low carb side, they started on the low fat side. Both groups had a tendency to slide back towards the middle, which is where things started becoming problematic. So, you know, mixed into all this stuff is this reality that in general things start going really sideways the more that we process our, our food and the more uh, processed food that we eat which is one of my big I guess bones of contention with a, a lot of the uh, if it fits your macros folks I think that that can work in some circumstances but it, it not uh, in, in a broader population sense. And this is another Kevin Hall uh, research paper that was recently done where they tried to very tightly control, uh, provide an isocaloric intake for people eating what was specifically designed to be a highly refined food diet. And what was interesting with that is even in kind of a metabolic ward setting, dietitians, food scales, measuring cups, it was really, really easy for people to overeat in that highly refined food scenario. So I, I think at the end of the day, and it shouldn't be like totally a, a crazy proposition, but the, the more refined our, our food intake is, and this includes doing stuff like bulletproof coffee, like that's a super dense uh, caloric intake. And so these things are, are easy to over overdo. But in general, if we stick with whole unprocessed foods, we're generally gonna do well from there, it kind of boils down to individual differences with regards to carbohydrate tolerance. Uh, if you guys haven't read my book, Wired to Eat, if you go to robwolf.com forward slash wired to eat, I do a massive effort in unpacking the neuroregulation of appetite, but also providing a rubric for figuring out how you or your clients or patients actually respond to different carbohydrate types and amounts and that can help you unpack all that. So did that help you answer the question of high carb and low carb? It all is within context, right? That's the, there's no Has absolutes in Hashtag in, uh, context, yeah. In Rob Wolf the only, recommendations. Yeah, the, the only absolute is context, yes. <laughs>